Welcome back to another great episode that we're actually finally recording in advance. Um, yeah, of the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. So we're going to this... try and crank out as many episodes this week because school ends on Friday. Just and here comes all the dogs. <laughs> out. Get out. They heard. Get out. All of his you. high pitched Begone. tone and thought that they were all being called. Begone. <laughs> Begone. Be gone. Begone. Begone. Begone horse. Remember? What the fuck? How I talk to all the moms in the school drop off line when they try and talk to me. Begone horse. Remember I sent you that meme. Okay. It's all your fault. So this is an episode of Nona Topics. Nona Topics? What kind of bullshit is that? Yeah. I don't know. That could be like a store. You could open up a store. Like Hot Topic, but Nona Topic. What? Yeah, it could just be all kinds of weird knickknacks and... Wait, I don't like knickknacks. I literally that's, like that's want to would, throw away other people's knickknacks. That's why you would sell them. What? Yeah. People could bring their knickknacks to you on consignment. You give them like 1%. Stuff oh, that they were gonna throw per, away purge out of your house. Yeah, yeah. You're crazy. Damn, I slept weird, so my hair's like. You know what it looks, helps it that? Taking like a shower. It did. It looks like I have a receding. No, hairline. you didn't. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it's not a receding. No, hairline. you didn't. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I like it. it. Looks funny. Anyways. Anyways. What did you want to talk about today? Okay, you so want to talk about me having plastic in my balls. That's what you're talking about. You want to go there first? Okay. Um, yeah, it recently came out that a hundred percent of men in this study had microplastics found in their balls. So you want to pull it up? Do you have microplastics in your boobs? No, just. Full plastic. Just full plastic silicone. Sure. Who said? Who, who Bar said? Barstool Sports came out with it. Barstool Sports microplastics and balls. <laughs> but if you think about it, like all the face washes that we used as middle schoolers and high schoolers had those beads in them, and all they were were just plastic beads. And we were told that it was to help they actually scrub. Even have they even have the Google search trends. See, I told you this is a useful tool. They're even, they are even used it to show that people are looking for it. Since, what does that look like? So that means that you looks like likely have the end plastic of, in your balls, Andrew. The end of 2021, there was a big spike of people searching for it. And then it kind of, so it was- 2021? End of 2021. It, so there was like a normal, like basically it was like flat. Like there were a couple. Little... I believe I've stumbled upon what microplastics were last summer. What? I believe I stumbled upon what microplastics were last summer. I've never heard of them. Never heard the term before, but it was pretty self-explanatory. Here's how Google explains it. Gotcha. Fragments of plastic, less than five millimeters in length, according to NOAA. I'm not going to read their full name because that's what it is. Uh, and then the next company. article says cancer causing microplastics are found in 100% of men's testicles in new study yeah got scrote cancer from body wash what yeah no really what you're trying to say really and all those like 25 in one body washes from old spice and axe that have all the beads in them so that's been, all plastic and found in rainwater human lung tissue freshly fallen antarctic snow like <laughs> it, they're literally Duh. everywhere. Duh. Yeah, literally everywhere. It's, I don't understand. Like, there's also pollen. There's also parts of rocks. There's also somebody's piss from China. There's also, like, there's flakes of dog shit from Africa. Like, you would find all of it in trace amounts. In your balls? Probably. There's probably some dog's shit in my balls, <laughs> which has been injected into you. So <laughs> you have microplastics. <laughs> I 
Disgusting. Mm. Disgusting. 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 They're telling people not to take apple pectin or use saunas. What? Don't use saunas. Your balls will melt off. I don't know, I guess. I don't know. I'm really not even reading any of this for the context. I'm just looking at the words and picking out what I think sounds funny. Dude. What the fuck? There's a bunch of foods. Like, you know, okay. Jello. <laughs> Fair life milk is number one. <laughs> Damn. Slim fast is number two. Yo play yogurt is number three. Tuscan Dairy Farms is number four. Ben and Jerry's ice cream is number five. Um, some looks like a local place to somebody not to hear. Uh, great value Walmart brand ice cream, Jello, Sargento cheese, and Lando Lakes butter, salted butter specifically. They said. Okay, I buy Sargento cheese. You play or you buy that Fairlife stuff, don't you? No, I've never bought Fairlife ever. Or what's the, what's the creamer that you used? The creamer that I use is organic Costco brand, Kirkland brand. It's not Fairlife. What do the kids drink? Organic Kirkland brand. No, I've it's I've blue literally with the cow on it, right? I've I've literally never bought Fairlife ever. <coughs> I could have sworn we had some at some point. Mm -mm. No, not with me. Probably your other girlfriend. Oh, I thought he was saying that he had 40 pounds of microplastics in him, but he was, he was saying that he lost 40 pounds. <laughs> that would be insane yeah. if somebody had 40 pounds of microplastics in their body. So it's kind of hard. So Barstool, like a lot of what they produce mm -hmm. is like it teeters, like it's humorous mm -hmm. to like get people to stay on page. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to tell like the actual gravity of the situation because it's almost satirical but it's not like they're telling real news mm -hmm. but they're doing it they're editorializing it and making it funny so it's like right. is this actually a dire situation or was this just something that because you literally saw it on google trends you're like let's talk about this and that's what we're doing right now well there's probably no <laughs> way to extract microplastics from your testicles at this point jerk off more frequently Purge, 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 purge. Yeah. All right. We know what you guys are doing <laughs> now. Have fun. I Goodbye. Wanna, I want to go to, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go to Google Trends and see how it's still trending. Trends.google.com. There we go. I've been on there so much it pops up right when I type TR. Mm -hmm. um, come on. I clicked search and it searched for nothing. What is happening here? Yeah, what is happening, Andrew? ChatGPT software is a breakout trend right now. Ticket admission is breakout. The New York Times con Connections video game. Okay. Yeah, 2024 topic, and then Amazon are the top five search topics right now, rising. Connections, New York Times, Connections, Hint, Connections, Prod. What? I don't know what Prod is supposed to be. I don't know. New York Times strands. Okay. All right, so what are we? Microplastics, micro. I thought I was going to be able to do talk to text. No, mm. no Microsoft, micro. Plastics, there we go. It's under clothing. That's the category, clothing. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, polyester sheets, polyester clothing. Gotcha. So, yeah. So. Always sleep with cotton sheets, always. 100% cotton. It's most searched for in Washington, D.C., Hawaii, Vermont, mm -hmm. Alaska, Rhode Island. Testicle is a related topic. And since we're talking to men specifically here, go ahead and wash your sheets today because I know you haven't washed them in probably three weeks at this point. What is a Berkey water filter? The net, the related topics are testicle, which has gone up 3,350%. Okay. <laughs> Berkey water filters. Which has gone up 1,500%. Is that a reverse osmosis system, maybe? I've never heard of Berkey. And it's not Berkeley. I am pronouncing it right. It's spelled on Google B E R K E Y. Okay. Uh, it's probably some sort of filtration system. Cardiovascular disease. Well, yeah, it literally says filter. I just don't know okay, what Okay, like... sorry. But yeah, probably like reverse osmosis or something. I don't know. And then fair life after cardiovascular disease and then cutting. 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 So cut your testicles off related, or jerk off. Those related, are your two options. Related queries. 
microplastic testicles, and then microplastics in testicles, fair life microplastics in testicles, microplastics found in testicles, microplastics in clouds. In clouds! <laughs> All right, you're a clown because you have. Cloud. Clouds. Oh, I heard things clown. That float, in, things that float in the sky. I heard clown. Yeah, I'm adding as it. in you're a clown because you have microplastics in your balls. Oh, I tried to microplastics in clouds is like nowhere near just microplastics. Mm. I was hoping that interest in subregion. No, I want to <laughs> microplastic testicles. I had to compare. Oh my God. This is literally his brain, guys. Like No, oh, yeah. It was a spike microplastic testicles. Has a spike that is in line with when everybody was Googling microplastics. Okay. Uh, I want to remove the original microplastics and see if that helps. Remove. Wait, come on. Microplastics search term is separate from microplastics clothing. That's even higher. I just buried the microplastic testicles. I'm going to see. Look. Yeah, this is literally his brain. Like... I start to have a conversation with him, and then yeah. he just completely digresses. <laughs> Did you remember your medicine today? Yes. I'm going to... Okay, so... Are you sure? There's a shirt idea here. You know how people, um, dudes, will get those uh, truck testicles that they hang from the... Oh, my God! Yes! Yeah. 3D printed. 3D. I can 3D print some for my truck. So that they're literally plastic testicles? Yeah, yeah. And, and they have be... to be micro, though. Yeah. Well, micro testicles that are plastic. No, there's a way to do it. We could do it like, um, what's his name? Conor McGregor, that. that Who suit. has They're... small testicles, also? I have no idea. Probably. They all stuff a sock in their shorts before their weigh ins, anyways, to make themselves look good. Uh, but... Do they really? Yeah, absolutely. Why <laughs> Why would you go out there and actually show off what you really have? Like, you're, you're wearing a fucking It's probably out. an innie. Maybe. Um,. You, uh, no, no, no. So that, that suit that he wore a couple years back that I showed you where it looks like it's pinstripe, but it's not pinstripe. It just says, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yes. Yes. I remember this. Yes. So there might be a way, it depends on how fine, like how fine detailed the 3d printer can get. So I'll have to ask my guy, like how detailed it can get. My guy. Yeah. The, uh, Hellfire Arms. Yeah. Your new client. Yeah. Well, old, new. Because I have done work for them in the past. I just never did full web development for okay, them. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, if I could do that, just so that for the people that are actually like, oh my God, I want to look at this and like get up close and then they're going to you know, fondle them and look. Oh my God, it says microplastics. <gasps> Tickle my plastics. And it's the hand going That's your go. new shirt right yeah, there. Tickle yeah, my plastics. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we're wait. We are waiting. We all of us are waiting for all of these shirts to come. Well, out. Scott's working on the one for you right now, and he still needs inspiration from you. So okay. we'll get on that. I'll get so on that. Move on to the next thing on the list. Okay. That was priority number one. He's waiting on you. I don't even have his contact information. Now, yes, you do. It's on. He's in the veteran wiki. Um, Whatever you want to call it, our yeah, directory. whatever, whatever you want to call it, a directory for the organization. You can literally just type his name in, and his email will pop up right there because he's a member of the organization. Okay, that's how business directories work. Not for you guys; you guys can't get a hold of him, but internally we can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so it could be tickle me Elmo, and it's like the doctor's office. <laughs> that's so fucking wrong <laughs> but you would totally wear that and you would wear it to school too yeah i've worn this shirt to school and on the back it says defund china i've worn the uh, yeah that's not a problem black rifle the black rifle fuck your sensitivity shirt mm -hmm. to school that one yeah i've worn that to school performances i know yeah i know you have not enough people stare at me, though. He gives zero fucks. No, I don't. Why would I? What are they going to do? Mm -hmm. You can't wear that. Oh, I can't? Why? I don't go to school here. Speaking of zero fucks. Yeah. 
It would have been Don't. Me. it would have been me getting a new phone in October. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of zero fucks, you told me a very interesting story when we first met. I did. About how you used to drive your grandpa to and from VA appointments when you were twelve years old. Yep. So please tell the audience about that. Well, for the people that don't know, the um Actually, for a long time, I don't think there was a facility at all. No, there was. They just, they moved or built in. One of them, when I was there, they were building a new one by um, the, the newer hospital there, St. Joe uh, Regional Medical Center. Mm-hmm. But there was one in downtown South Bend across from, um, it's called Four Winds Field now. It used to be called Kovaleski Stadium. The uh, uh, Native American tribe bought it and basically turned it into part of their casino. But Gotcha. The uh, South Bend Cubs. Okay. It's literally just the Cubs with another ring around the sea. Is there a, they used to be called the Silver Hawks. Like a farm team? Yeah, they used to be called the Silver Hawks. And when they were bought, they changed it to Cubs. And they are the whatever farm league team for the Chicago Cubs. Okay. So across from there, there used to be a dealership, a car dealership. Mm -hmm. And they sold it to the VA and they turned the dealership into a VA facility. Mm -hmm. Um. But before any of that, I don't think we actually had one in the area. Or if we did, they didn't have the capability to do some of the procedures that my grandpa needed to have done. Mm-hmm. Um, like I remember one time I had to take him to like a colonoscopy. He had some other stuff. My grandpa has and had all kinds of like heart conditions. He's had multiple different triple, quadruple, double, whatever bypass surgeries. Um, yeah, tons of tons of different things. I mean, he smokes. Or used to. I don't know if he still does, but smoked straight from a pipe. Like my entire childhood, he always smoked wow. straight from a pipe. And to be fair, it smells significantly better than fucking cigarette smoke. Either way, it, smells, it permeates into everything. It smells it's... so much better than cigarette smoke. I can tolerate that. <clears throat> I cannot tolerate anybody that even mm-hmm. smells like they smoke cigarettes. Right. <clears throat> so. So. Um. Yeah. Fort Wayne at that time was actually a little bit longer of a drive because it was more of a two lane road. You, you, the road that we went up 33 was, is one of the fastest ways to get there. Mm-hmm. So one of the facilities in Fort Wayne, I had to drive them to periodically, we'll call it two hours. Okay. And then Marion, which is just kind of Northeast of Indianapolis, but kind of off the beaten path. There's a whole former, uh, I believe it was an army installation that was mm-hmm. there. And that basically is like, a major or was major VA facility. They had the hospital and they had all kinds of other buildings and stuff there. And yeah, I would just, instead of going to school, I would drive my grandpa to his appointments. And at the time he had like a, it was like a PT cruiser and it was manual transmission. So, but I grew up riding dirt bikes and for like, I knew how to do it. He didn't so you were 12 years me. old yeah. and you were driving a manual transmission yeah. on the highway, on the highway yeah. with no ID, yep. no anything, yeah. and skipping yeah. school. Yeah. And your parents never knew? I'm pretty sure my mom knew because I was living with her. Gotcha. My but dad she was, just didn't she was, wor- my she was working just... at the time, though, wasn't she? I don't, know. I don't remember. I did, it was right around, it started right around the time when my parents, like, what, how old would I be? They were, I was in eighth grade, I believe, when they got divorced. Mm-hmm. Does that sound right? think so you told me that they got divorced when you were 12 so it would have been right around the same time the reason why i'm bringing this up is because chloe kardashian recently came out with calling her own mom out for doing essentially the same thing only it was to be her dd well i would say that that's like that's a big difference yeah no i'm not i'm not saying if you're such a fucking alcoholic that you have to have your underage (laughs) like not even Right. a licensed kid drive you around so that you can be an alcoholic. That's completely different from needing somebody to drive you to a doctor's appointment in which you're going to be under anesthesia and you don't have somebody else that can drive you. I'm not saying it's the same, but you guys were of similar age and were we? you she were well. skipping school yeah. to do it yeah. and didn't have any kind of license. And hey, I was a straight A student, <laughs> played football. Everybody liked me. So, yeah. That's great that everybody liked you. That's how you get away That's fabulous. But if you get pulled over, that doesn't get you out of a ticket. Well, 
I mean, you can't say everybody loves me. Don't give me a speeding ticket and driving without a license and underage driving and 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 I, because everybody loves me. I bet you the first time that I would have been pulled over that I would have just had to change seats with my grandpa and or sit there until somebody else could come get us. And yeah, nothing would I think the first time they would have called your mom and been like, do you even know what is happening right now? And then she would have probably said yes. <laughs> I don't know. The whole story is crazy. Okay. They, she, she would have said yes, I'm sure. And two hours on the highway at 12 years old, manual transmission, yeah. skipping school. Yeah. It's crazy. It's a crazy story. And it wasn't just once. I know. You told me it happened several times. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. I mean, my parents knew that I I learned how to fucking ride a dirt bike with training wheels on it. I know. Like, like, I know. So I'm more than capable of driving a car. But just because you're capable doesn't mean that you should. Sure. Maybe. I don't know. I'll, I'll change the laws when I become president. Okay. Speaking of cars, let's talk about the new Hummer. And the new Cybertruck. Okay. You are an Elon Musk fan, so why don't you talk about the Cybertruck? We saw it on the no, road here. I'm not for a the... fan. I just oh like... yeah, you're a huge fan. No, I like. Uh, you literally have talked about him since we met. I the shit's I didn't even funny. know he existed. Yes, you on... did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Everybody... No, I didn't. There... Yes, you did. No, I didn't. There's no way that you didn't. I know literally that he didn't even know he existed. Whatever. I don't believe you. And yeah. Whatever. Literally didn't know he existed. You know everything about him and have followed him. And He's, that's like saying that you don't know who Bill Gates is. And Bill Gates actually is got his hands in far fewer things. Like, obviously, Microsoft is a huge corporation, but I literally in, in never of, heard of Elon Musk before you. In terms of the different companies and organizations and thing that, things like that, that he either is a direct contributor or started or whatever, the, far more. Okay. I mean, you got, you have um, I don't... SpaceX. Okay. So every, he wants everything to be called X, by the way. That's why it's- Why? Huh? Why? What, technically SpaceX is Space Exploration Company Limited or something along those lines, but- Okay. Um, that was the original name for PayPal was supposed to be X Corp or something along those lines. Okay. And he kept the Which name. Which you're the one who told me that he, he was the yeah. creator of PayPal or one of the creators. Yeah. I don't he, know. I he, didn't even know that. He kept the name, kept the you know trademark, copyright or whatever. And that's why Twitter is called X. Okay. And you have SpaceX. You have uh, Neuralink, which they incorporated X in there somehow. I, I think it's just part of... What's Neuralink again? Is that the, the brain internet? Implant, brain implant. With the what? Brain implant. Oh my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> Neuralink. No. We've already talked about that. That's a no for me. So you got Neuralink, then you got Tesla. Um, and of course he has the Model X. So okay. that's where the X is in that one. Um, the Boring Company, mm -hmm. which just digs tunnels. Right. Yeah, you've... There's a couple others. Can't think of them Like I said, you follow him and know everything about him, so... What? Because he's... What the, do you think of the, the Cybertruck? He's talked about person. Like, What if, do you think of the Cybertruck? If Elon Musk walks outside, somebody's going to post about it. Elon Musk was wearing his hat backwards and when he walked outside, like... Yeah, you wouldn't, but you're also not there. Okay. They're doing it because they know it's going to get clicks and views and ad revenue. They're going to post and tweet and share whatever, everything about his every... He's... He's basically a politician in many ways and a celebrity kind of all in one. He's got like his own pop rock. There are people on YouTube and on other social media platforms that have dedicated their channels to running 24 seven live streams of Starbase. What's Starbase? The uh, Where they launch and development them. facility in Texas. So yeah. They, there are people right now, you can go right now, and they will have, you'll find like 10. And okay. it's just, it's literally a camera pointed 
at the facility from like three miles away. And that's all it is. Okay. You can see stuff moving around. You see birds flying. You see boats in the foreground. Yeah, it's just, hey, you always have a camera on you. Always. Fucking creepy. Well, they, they want to be the first ones like when something blows up. Mm-hmm. They want to be the first ones to be able to publish that. But I thought that Elon Musk's team... He encourages it. These like they, uh, no, but, but I thought they live stream themselves. They don't on YouTube anymore. So the people that uh, do it on YouTube are doing significant. They only do it on, on X, Twitter. Yeah, it's the only place that they live stream any launches, any anything. They'll do. They'll put recap videos. So like, here's what happened gotcha. and things like that. And they'll they'll put that on on YouTube edited content, but they no longer do live streams, which is dumb. Okay. The quality on Twitter is not anywhere near as good as the quality on YouTube because YouTube's a video platform and Twitter is a other. 200 characters or less. No, it's not a thing anymore. I don't know. It was like two, 250, I think, or 252 or something like that was the original limit. And but, now what is it? Um, I don't remember, but you can also do thread, threaded posts. Mm-hmm. Or if you're a Twitter Blue subscriber, you can write like, I think it's like a thousand or two thousand characters. Mm-hmm. So like I can write like a book if I wanted to. Nobody needs to read that. Yes, they do. All right. So tell us what you think about the Cybertruck. <laughs> we saw it the other day. That's actually a way that some of these uh, famous um, bozos have been caught. They're like, oh, I would never pay for X premium. But you can, you actually know that they do. Because, so you can turn off your check mark. You don't have to display it on your profile. Okay. So, but the way that they've outed like um, Stephen King. Okay. Is that your character limit increases mm-hmm. when you pay for it. Right. And so he was writing these longer tweets and these mm-hmm. diatribes and everything like that. And he's like, I would never pay for it. Blah, blah, blah. You just turned it off. You're paying for it. You're a fucking hypocrite. You're telling people not to pay for and it. And everybody has lying. to pay for it. There's no. Yeah. Yeah. There are certain people. So if they will. Um, there's like a gray check mark now for uh, like politicians and stuff. Like okay. verified, like this is the real politician. That's not a satirical account, mm-hmm. and that's the reason why that exists because okay. the satirical accounts look very similar, yeah, but are yeah. posting trolly I mean, there's shit. Li- there's literally an Elon Musk parody account okay. that people will report on, saying that it's Elon Musk's account because they don't actually go. They say the check mark, uh, and that's all gotcha. they care about. But you have brand affiliations as well. Mm-hmm. So if you're a larger corporation, you pay like a thousand dollars a month or something along those lines, or ten thousand dollars a month. It's one of the. But big... is it for ads too? It turns off your ads. You don't see ads in your feed anymore when you. When, there's like uh, the highest tier. You don't see ads at all. Okay. But that's like thirty dollars for person. No, I meant for the brand affiliation. Yeah. No. No. So what it is is the brand pays mm-hmm. a certain amount, and then you have per user that you say is an affiliate. They actually get a gold check mark for the the official brand. So like Dona actually has this for himself for his own brand. And then Brandon Herrera has Donut's profile picture as like a thing. So he has the check mark and then Dona is like next to it because he's affiliated with that brand. Barstool has like their Barstool logo and anybody that's affiliated with it has a check mark and then the Barstool logo next to it. Okay. And that's, I believe that starts at a thousand dollars a month. A month? A month, yeah. Y'all are crazy. Yeah. There's a there's a tier for nonprofits that we could do, but that's still even fucking expensive, and that's why I haven't done it for Veteran Wiki because I believe it's still like two hundred and fifty dollars. Gross, disgusting. So, but it's a good it's it's revenue generating. People get what they want. They get to reduce and or remove ads from their feed. You have a more predictable predictable income stream per user on your platform. Okay. That's why, I mean, all the platforms are going to it now. Facebook will let people pay for it now, or Meta, so all of their products. You so can anyways, but, what do you think of the Cybertruck? I'll, I'll tell you in a second, but here's the, I want to tell you a funny thing. If you verify your account on Facebook, mm-hmm. it doesn't verify your Instagram or your Threads account. You have to pay for each one of them. Interesting. Yeah. Even though they're all owned by Meta? You get a discount if you have the other ones. Aww. So you pay full price for the first the, one. The bundle right? deal. Yeah. 
We all know about the bundle deal. Yeah. But I'm sure like that'll come down eventually. Like everything else. Like once you. Once the hype has lessened. Not just that. Think of it like all the shit for like your phone, right? Right. Back in the day, you had to pay for minutes and then minutes became unlimited. Okay. Then you had to pay yeah, for yeah. text yeah, and then yeah. text became unlimited. It's just, God. it's just the next. Paying 25 is a cent for K. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just the next thing. Eventually, you'll probably just pay a flat fee and it'll cover everything. They want everybody to be verified anyways mm. because it's not even just about other people seeing your content and being like, okay, that is the official account and that is the person. Okay. It's because now they know that when they buy your transaction history from the bank and from the grocery store and from data brokers, that you are that person okay. and they know exactly what you have bought and what you're probably going to buy and they know exactly which ads to serve you. Gotcha. Yeah. It's very lucrative for the platforms to okay. verify that you are who you say you are. So, yeah. Anyways. It always comes back to how they're going to make money. Anyways. Anyways, the Cybertruck. Um, I actually watched the unveiling ceremony in the aircraft hangar, whatever they did. I believe it. I believe you did. It was like 2018 when that happened. And, <laughs> but I watched it and because there there was a teaser that the new um, Roadster was going to be unveiled too. And it was, um, which that should have came out before the Cybertruck. Why? Or, because it's actually. It's not even out yet? No. He draw. He has like a pre-production model that he like drives around, but um, what? Like, why? Why the delay for the Cybertruck? If it was unveiled in 2018 and just now coming out in there, 2020, there were some technologies and some things that weren't quite there yet. Actually, at the in the unveiling demo, they were talking about how the windows and the body panels were um, a, they were bullet resistant or bulletproof and shatter resistant, something along those lines. Mm -hmm. And the guy that was on stage was holding a fucking lead ball. And turned around and threw it and it fucking cracked the window. Oh, open. shit. <laughs> you can't break it at the unveiling. Yeah. So he's like, they like hit the ground. They were like, like, whoops. He's like, oh, well, it'll work on the, the real one. Uh... So, and the actual, the, the one that they brought out, the unveiling was actually larger than what the production model ended up. They, they shrunk it down in like two dimensions, I believe. Um, the width had to come in just a little bit. But so, I don't know the laws that go along with this, but there's a, once you hit a specific width on, on a, a road capable vehicle, whatever mm -hmm. legal to drive on the road, you have to have markers on the, like the hood and the, the fender flares and stuff like that. Okay. That's why you see like a, t a 2,500 or 3,500 like dually mm -hmm. that'll have those orange marker lights on it. That's why that is. Gotcha. Some guys have I didn't know. like a Raptor off-road racing trucks and stuff like that. It's because once you hit, once you reach that width, mm -hmm. you have to have those markers and indicators on your vehicle. Okay. I don't know why. I don't. I, I actually have no idea why that's a law or a thing. But no, people yeah. people think it looks cool. They'll go out of their way to put it on their vehicle. Gotcha. Like they'll take like a Colorado, like I have, and put them on there. Like it makes, Barf. Like they think it makes them look cool. But um, my exact. And I bet it's probably on my old Twitter account, mm -hmm. but it, it might also be on my Facebook somewhere if I looked it up. But the exact thing that I said was, it looks like a fucking boat on wheels. And then it turns out that it's supposed to be able to ford and traverse uh, like small creeks and stuff like that. And somebody posted recently <laughs> their vehicle not being capable of doing it. Oh, shit. <laughs> what yeah. happened to it? Uh, I didn't watch it because I was scrolling through looking for something else specific at the time, mm -hmm. but I saw it and somebody had taken a screenshot and they were like, you could have just driven right there. There was like a, there was like a path like right behind it, uh -huh. but they drove through the water instead and they were making fun of them for doing it. They're like, gotcha. you went out of your way. <laughs> well, they were putting it to the test and it didn't pass the test. Well, and so the, the heritage, not heritage, there's some name for the ones that are out right now that's actually like a special edition it's like has like okay. etched whatever the, these people are paying like a quarter of a million dollars for it and the production model is supposed to be seventy thousand. what yeah. a quarter of a million dollars yeah, yeah they're, they're like starting price for the it's not heritage it's something similar but yeah the starting the the starting price without any sort of they don't have dealerships um, I thought the new Hummers were expensive that's fucking insane but it's only for so these are like 
pre-production model. So it's like they want to get some on the road to like hype it up. Get people oogling and so how did these people get them? Were they like on a list yeah. or yeah, you had to apply and put down? It wasn't a lot of money. You had to put down like hundred dollars or something like that to get on the list. Um, Only that now they're charged, but the way yeah, yeah. way more than yeah. they thought it was going to be. Yeah, but the way that the way that all of some of the other big brands work, like if you want to buy a Ford GT, mm -hmm. or in the past, I don't think they're in production again right now. Mm -hmm. um, you had to already be like a Ford SVT, so special vehicle team or FRPP or whatever or FRP Ford Racing Performance mm -hmm. owner. Um, you already had to have one, so you either had to have a Ford GT or a um, Shelby GT500 mm -hmm. or a Raptor, right. something along those lines. And then you would go through the application process and right. like they wanted to know that like you're not just that you're brand loyal, but that you were going to always talk about it mm -hmm. and continue basically providing marketing and advertising for the brand. Right. And that's kind of what they're trying to emulate here. But I don't think that you already had to own a Tesla. I think that's the, the difference between the two. Mm. But the resale value on the ones that have already come out have already almost cut in half. So these people are already upside down on their vehicle. That's fucking insane. Yeah. And when the production model comes out this fall, uh -huh. I believe is when it's supposed to come out. Oh, okay. They're supposed to be around seventy thousand dollars. Jesus. And the only so these people are like really stuck. The only difference between the ones that people are driving around right now mm -hmm. and the ones that are going to come out this fall is some laser etching. That's and, it. Yeah. Yeah, so you're paying a hundred, hundred and fifty thousand dollars for some places. You said a quarter of a million. That's two hundred and fifty. More over the oh, production. Oh, okay. Because I know that the Hummer is like a hundred and fifty thousand, something like that. So you're paying, you're paying that much for the etching, is what I'm saying. That is literally insane. Yeah. The only other thing I did hear is something about like they're not allowed to go through a car wash because it makes the the warranty null and void. Because some of them were rusted. Because it's, it's just stainless steel and it's not, there's no protective coating on them. So a lot of people are just having them wrapped and. Yeah. That's crazy. All of it's crazy. Like, why would you even accept a vehicle that's. Okay. Let me ask you this. If you had, if you had $1 million, right? Okay. If I had $1 million to my name right now. Yeah. Yes. What? And you had two options mm -hmm. to purchase. You okay. could buy a um we'll just say a, a shelby gt500 mustang shelby gt500 for which 100. to be clear i've never liked small cars so so but your options are shelby okay. gt500 for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, right okay or a ferrari for closer to a million they drive the same speed okay. have the same handling uh so we no, they don't i'm saying we're doing this one-to-one -one. you just have Two different products that do the same thing. So, two different products that I would never be interested in ever. But, but, but if I had you're, to. You're in this situation. Mm -hmm. Which one are you going to buy? Are you going to buy the Mustang? I would buy the more the affordable Ferrari. option of the two if I was forced to buy a vehicle and only had a million dollars to my name. Okay. So these people think the opposite of what you do. They want the more... I don't even want to call it exciting. They want the more. Are they like? They want the louder. Social the more, influencers or. No, it's just it's. They want it's they want to be the first. Mm -hmm. They're paying the the. Uh, oh my god! There's a name for it, like the pre-order tax or it's not pre-order tax. It's like the. What is it? FOMO. Sure. That's driving the bank. Sure, but some of these people actually also uh, there's that like luxury car rental app. And so I watched Rich Rebuild's oh, yeah. YouTube video. His, it was a thousand dollars a day to rent one. Damn. Okay. So you might be getting it back. Yeah. But a thousand dollars a day to rent a Cybertruck. Just for people to like take pictures with it or something Basically, stupid. Yeah. That's crazy, man. So you can, if you put it on there and you were able to rent out your car mm -hmm. every day out of the year, you would make your money back in half a year. Okay. But that's if. That's a big I But if you if you have no if you have no interest in actually driving it and mm -hmm. don't actually care and you're utilizing it as an investment mm -hmm. like you would like a rental property, mm -hmm. like a house, B 
beach house or whatever. Right. You can turn a profit and then after it depreciates, you don't really care because you're going to turn around and sell it anyways and you already have padded your bank account. So for some people, it's a good financial decision. For some people, they want to be the first one seen driving around in it. Right. But what if people are actually driving it and putting thousands of miles on it? They have restrictions like a lease does mm -hmm. where you can only drive X amount of miles. And so the you would have to pay more for more mileage. Gotcha. There's all... Uh, I've looked into it one time, mm -hmm. and this was a long time ago, just because I had heard of it, and I was like, I wonder what they offer, or if it's even around here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, it's it's basically just like, um, what's the play, the app that you can rent a house or whatever? Like VRBO yeah. and B Airbnb. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. like that. So. But it's so it's people like local to you or whatever. Mm -hmm. So right, right, right. if you didn't want to get like a uh, Chevy, I don't know, Chevy Spark or whatever from the airport rental, mm -hmm. you could rent somebody's luxury car. Right. So you, you go to the airport and then somebody, you know, they pull up in their fucking Ferrari and hand you over the keys. So you look like you're cool when you're on vacation in Miami, for example. So you look like you're cool. It's yeah. all about perception. Yeah. Yeah. Because people, the as soon as you like start posting that online, you're going to have obviously your, like the people that know you mm -hmm. are going to think that either you know somebody who owns it mm -hmm. or... Or you came into a windfall. Yeah. Whatever, right? Mm -hmm. They're not going to think, oh, he is just renting He's just it. renting it for the yeah. day. He's paying... Yeah. You know, a thousand dollars just to take these pictures. But that's what that's what a lot of people do. Um, like Dan Bilzerian, that's like his like mansions and shit. He didn't own any of that's them. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. So you're just burying yourself with a very low ROI. You mm -hmm. get a couple clicks on fucking social media, and that's all you get out of it. Mm -mm. The kids and I saw the new Hummer on the road the other day, and their immediate reaction is that is fugly and i laughed i laughed and i was like do you guys know what fugly means and they're like yeah it's funny and ugly uh, i love their yeah. definition of what fugly means so to me fugly now means no. funny and ugly nope. so that whole ordeal is dumb so am general sold the like the brand naming rights to gm uh -huh. so it's actually a gmc hummer it's a gmc yeah. product so it's like you know whatever right whereas the hummers and humvees that were made by am general were just hummer and then they had a model number like h1 h2 right. h3 right but, but this one is electric isn't it yes yeah that's what i thought that's part of why it's so stupid expensive yeah. it has all kinds it's of still fugly it can uh, crab walk. So for people that... Are... Yeah. I told the kids that. I had heard about that. And but they were like, what? I believe, I believe the H2... I think the H2 had like a, a... And there have been other vehicles that have tried this in the past. Like this isn't like a truly... Yeah, no. This, a, car, but... a car in the 70s came out with this and nobody fucking bought it because it creeped everybody out. Well, I'm not talking about the crab walk. I'm talking about rear steer in general. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So they didn't make it so that... like, So the way crab walking works is that your front and rear tires will turn in the mm -hmm. same direction so mm -hmm. that you can go like this. Mm -hmm. But rear steer normally is just to increase your turning rate or decrease your turning radius mm -hmm. so if you have a large longer vehicle just by turning the rear wheels a couple of degrees you make it easier to do something like a u-turn okay and that's the original point of that it was just to make the vehicle more maneuverable gotcha. like think of think of your car pulling in and out of the garage right mm -hmm. now the way that the garage mm -hmm. and the driveway mm -hmm. are if you had even just two or three degrees of rear steer you could get out of the garage much easier Okay. And get around that that fence, whatever. But that's that's the entire like reason. So they added the all the all the mechanisms and everything like that because they're electric motors. Mm -hmm. You don't have all the complications of like drive shafts and gearing and everything like that. So now you still have a lot of moving parts. They're just in one location rather mm -hmm. than moving through or around or under the vehicle. Okay. So 
now you have the ability to do things uniquely and independently with each wheel. Okay. Like your car versus my car. Your car says that it has four wheel drive, but it's not real four wheel drive. It's more all wheel drive than mm. four wheel drive. You don't have solid front or rear axles. Okay. Whereas my truck has a solid rear axle. So I can lock the differential and everything like that, which just means that when you when I turn in my truck, um, the outer wheel obviously has to turn more than the inner wheel. Mm -hmm. If you lock the differential, it would actually squeal all the time because the inner wheel would still be trying to turn at the same speed. As that would be terrible. It's it's for, you know, um, off-roading, rock crawling and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Whereas yours, because you have independent IFS and IRS, all four of your wheels can spin at different speeds. You don't ever notice this, but when you're turning, they do that. Mm -hmm. um, if you had, you know, four wheel uh, high engaged and you were driving on like ice or snow or whatever, the wheel has sensors in it to determine if there's any slip. So if say your right rear is slipping, it'll reduce the power that's being given to that wheel mm -hmm. and then provide it to another one to help you climb out of whatever situation you're in. It's supposed to be a safety feature, but I fucking hate the way that it feels. That's why you always see me turning off traction control and stability control because I can drive in it better than the vehicle can drive me. You hear that, guys? They know. They, they're thinking the exact same thing. Thank Anyways. You. So the last thing I wanted to talk about was something that you and I were probably both told in middle school by our teachers, dress to impress. And now these middle schoolers and high schoolers are walking around in PJs, the term that flippers. I've heard, the term that I've heard recently is, um, it, it. they specifically say it regarding like interviews, but mm -hmm. dress for the job that you want. Yes. Yeah. That uh, That's not a recent thing. That's what you and I and yeah. everybody our generation no, I'm saying, I'm saying was the, told. I'm saying the phrase has changed over time. It's still the same concept. It's just... They don't so, say dress to impress. They say dress for the job that you want, which so is so. Kids thing. these days are dressing for bed. Yeah, that, that is, is the their job. job sleeping. Yeah. yeah, because they think that they want to work from home. They all want to be content creators and influencers. They don't like. They don't actually understand that it's hard work because all they see is the final product. They don't see the behind the scenes stuff. Ours do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Cash is getting a crash course in it for starting his show. Yeah. He's so excited. He's so excited. I mean, to do uh, research and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should have seen him sitting there on the couch. He's so excited. I know he's so excited. He yeah. loves World War II, guys. Like, he's obsessed. Yep. But yeah, no, back to... Back the to... War Cash, by the way. That's the name of the channel. The War Cash, and it's spelled like his name, C-A-S-H. I know someone's going, who's know how it's spelled. It's because of his name. It just happens to work perfectly. So instead of C A C H E, mm -hmm. which I know some people pronounce cache, mm -hmm. it's cash. I even told him a, little, a while back that I wanted to change his name. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to change my son's name ever. Why? It's still cash, it's just spelled differently. No. No. Yeah. No. It'd be funny. He would appreciate it. Johnny Cash would not appreciate it. You didn't name him Johnny, though, so. Blah, blah, blah. You gave him somebody's last name. Yes, I did. It's... Cooper is a last name also. It's also an occupation. Yes. So, yeah. But he's not a barrel maker. Okay, but he could be. He's only 13 right now. He could become one. He's going to be 14 in a month. So I have a buddy of mine that's a... Uh, you know, he has, he has a PhD in chemistry mm -hmm. and he works for a brewery. That's the application of his degree is to fine tune chemical balances and. So you're saying he's going to still become a biomedical engineer, yeah. but he's going to put his engineering school yeah. use yeah. to barrel making. Sure. Or just making whiskey in, in general. <laughs> I don't see him going down that path. At this point in time. Okay. I don't see him working with his hands in any regard other than 3D printing. No. He's going to learn the hard way. He's going to learn the hard way. He's going to have 
a relationship where the woman is going to expect him to have old school values and be able to fix things around the house and stuff like that. And he's not going to want to do it. And then he's going to lose that relationship. And then he's going to want to learn. And then he's going to be 40. Damn. You're harsh. It's it's true. So you're making him out to be the 40-year-old virgin? No. I'm saying that there are... He's going to encounter those situations. The more things that he is um, exposed to mm-hmm. and does and learns or at least begins to learn. Mm-hmm. Like, <clears throat> I had to take apart like our lawnmowers and stuff when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Take the deck off the rider and take the blades off and sharpen them. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, clean the pool, clean the pumps and service the heater and pump and everything like that. Um, all that kind of stuff. Right. This isn't anything that he's ever had to do, and that's going to fuck him long term because he's going to be put in a situation then where he doesn't have the tools, the knowledge, and then he's going to have to spend money for somebody else to do it, something that could potentially be simple that he could do himself. Okay, then teach him. Okay. We need something to break so that I can teach him. I taught him how to replace the air filters in the house. Mm-hmm. That was step one. one. Yep. <laughs> Which that was part of his um, high school application video was him like doing things around the house and walking the dogs and Mm -hmm. yeah. It was really sweet. Andrew and Cooper worked on that together. I'm really curious actually what the other kids did. I know he said that the rest of them like did it like by the book. They Mm -hmm. just sat and stared at the webcam. My name is Andrew and I go to middle school. And I like cars. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't... That's what he wanted wanted to do. And I was like, no, you need to differentiate and separate yourself. Because mm-hmm. they gave the option. You could do one of the, you could record right on the platform or you can create a video and upload it. Mm-hmm. So we created a video and uploaded it. And he got into all three high schools yep. that he applied to. Yep. See? And I attribute it to because they, his standout video because they looked at it and even if even if you know among his peers he doesn't have as good of grades mm-hmm. they saw that, that he, he put, put in forth effort, effort yeah. yes so you can't just set it and forget it as you always say yep so we'll we'll see if he continues that sentiment i mean we don't even know we don't ever even know if he's even doing homework i mean you just you see his grades he has a great work ethic. When he says that he has done something, I believe him. There has never been a time where I've had to come back behind him and say, your teacher reached out and you haven't turned in X, Y, or Z. No, his teachers have reached out to me and said, your son is stand up right. and I appreciate him in my class but he's, because but he's also, his peers look up to him. He's an AB student. He's an Australian A student. That's correct. So that's that's what I was getting at is that because it's not he, about the work that he's turning in. It's he's not a good test ticker like me. Have you actually looked at the score specifically? Yeah. Is he actually studying for tests? Um See, he never considered that, did you? He might be a good test taker, he's just not studying. I don't know actually. Yeah, he, he, he when when a specific specifically science tests, when they've come around he has put forth the effort and studied for them. Other than that, I don't know. But I know for a fact, yes, to the science. He's going to hit his life next year. He's going to want to drop out. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. It is going to be a huge wake-up call next year, having a workload for freshman and sophomore year compiled into one year. But he gets half days on Fridays. Yes, half days on Fridays. He's excited about that. It'll be him just doing homework the entire yes. time and all weekend. Yes. That's all he's going to do. Yes. That's all he's going to know. So he he's had it in his mind that he's getting a job as soon as he turns 14. Mm-hmm. And I did tell him because he got into early college that I do not expect him to have a job on top of all of the work that he is going to well, the com- have the conversation- and that his school 
will be his like, job. Conversa- if he wants to have a job and he thinks that he will have free time on a Saturday or Sunday, he is welcome to add that. But the, So the conversation that I had with him when we were talking about his volunteer time that he has to do this mm-hmm. summer, um, I specifically, he was like, well, I don't want to do this and I, want, I don't want to do that. And I was like, dude, I don't think you understand that once you are working for somebody else, mm-hmm. they're going to create a schedule and you can't just say, well, I don't want to come on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. It's not an acceptable answer anymore. Right. You're, you're not going to have that option like at all. If you apply for a job and you get accepted and you say, my availability is this, mm-hmm. and then they put you on the schedule for that and you don't show up, you're going to be fired. Mm-hmm. You're going to have that reputation. They're not going to rehire you. Right. They're other, you know, they're not going to give you a reference. You're just going to be shit out of luck. So like you actually have to think about that kind of stuff. Yeah. And he's like, oh. Like it never really occurred to him that a job isn't just come and go as you yeah. please. It's... I, well, that's the 13 year old mentality. There's a lot of growing up that's going to happen this summer for him, for all of them. But not for me. <laughs> On that note, you made it's this been real. Like really long. 57 minutes. I know how much you like when I say the time. So, do that in there for you. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.